hello guys uh, I just want to share with you and show you how to use secure CRT in GNS3 a lot of people have a difficulty with that one and I would just want to share with you so let us go without delay this is a GNS3 and then if I pick up at this time I believe you know GNS3 and you know how to set it up with the with the routers and the iOS and stuff so let us just focus on how to use GNS3 uh, using to use how to use GNS3 um, how to use a secure CRT in GNS3 so this is let me turn it on and this computer if I just right click and say like console we are using body you see we are using a body this one or booting whatever people say so we want to stop this one and we want to use GNS3 so how I mean sorry we, we, we want to use a, a secure CRT so how are we going to use this one you see so we don't want this one uh, this window so how are we going to use so I'll show you so first you have to install secure CRT I install it and then what do you do the the, sh the secure CRT shortcut or whatever it is but now I have a shortcut on my desktop I'll give right click and then I go property and I go here I will just copy you see that the, the two um, of us traffic around the corners so I just go I will just copy uh, uh, all those bits the you know hold the bath C program file I will just leave the two uh, 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 of us traffic you know around the corners I will just leave those one and I will just look I will just select from C all the way all the way to uh, EXE I'm not selecting the two of us traffic around the corners I will say like cut then I will close this one then we'll go back to uh, GNS3 and then we go uh, preference we go edit sorry let me go back we go edit we go preference and then we go journal and then we go console applications and then we go uh, secure CRT and then we will hit set when we hit set in here if you look at it it says like C program files Van Dyke the software secure CRT secure CRT .exe. we do not have the right path in here the right path is should include 86 like a 86 file or I mean 86 in in the path so what we will do uh, we will leave the the obstacle around the corners here because before I mean when we were coming when we were a uh, uh, Corbin we left it uh, the obstacle so now we have to leave the obstacle around the corners and then we will highlight up to C you know what I mean what we are highlighting is from for example if we count it this way we highlighting from C all the way to EXE so the two what do you call like the two obstacle around the corners the two two small uh, obstacle we, we are not touching so what I will do I will just uh, delete that thing so now now I have I, I am in the middle of the two obstacle here yeah so what I will do I will right click and then copy so what we have now we have program files x86 that was missing before that was missing before so that was the give the one who was giving us the error you know and then you see now it changed it changed C program files and then um, secure uh, uh, Vandic secure whatever it is the only we just made the correct because we what we did we copied from the secure CRT we went to the secure CRT shortcut we went to the property of secure CRT shortcut and then we copied and then we put it here and then what we do we just say apply and then ok you got me the only problem we have before we test it and when we let me go back when let me go back when we went to secure CRT we did not copy we did not copy the two of us traffic we just start from uh, let me just because I am I uh, it just gave me a hard time when I was uh, 
before I get it right. So please, please follow my instruction is very well. You are not touching the two uh, comma from the I mean, not comma actually. The, you are not touching the two obstrophe from the uh, I mean the two obstrophe just uh, facing down. You don't have to touch it. So what do you do if my English is bad? Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> so you start from you start copying from C all the way to exe when you are on exe then just cut it cut it or copy whatever you want then go back to uh, to edit preference journal console application is and here you have to go down and and just secure crt i'm just you know use uh, showing you uh, again second time yeah and then and then you have to hit set set yeah and then what you do, you do, you are not touching the overstraff here now because uh, we did not copy from from the security RT. So you just leave in the two overstraff and you delete these two. So what are we going to do now? We are in the middle of the two overstraff, yeah. So in the middle of two overstraff, just copy and I mean sorry, just we have we already cut from uh, security RT, isn't it, or from or copy? It. Then uh, right click and then paste. And then what we are doing now? we paste we paste yeah so so now we have we, I mean we have to go close we make it close because we just wired it when we were demonstrating yeah so now just go close it and then apply and then ok and then if we right click console now it should work look now it is working with GNS3 I hope I mean and so this one is a very good one because it's just starting all the time you don't need it like for example if I get another another uh, uh, router here and just turn it on and then what I will do I'll just right click console and then it will, it will come up straight away instead of like going to telnet on you know using another way around and I hope this video has been informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing